Mayor Aftab Purebal is taking and talking about next steps. Now the voters have said okay to the sale of the Cincinnati Southern Railway to Norfolk Southern. Yeah, Candace Harris spoke with the mayor on that and a bunch of other issues. She is at City Hall. Yes, Rob, Trisha, Mayor Piraval, he tells me that he watched those results come in last night while he was alongside his wife, and he admitted that he felt relieved when issue 22 in favor of the railway sale did pass. Uh, he tells me that he believes that result is a victory for all Cincinnatians. Last night was a historic night for the state of Ohio and also for the city of Cincinnati. Mayor Aftab Purival touted the passage of issue 22 as a win for the residents of Cincinnati, saying the $1.6 billion sale of the Cincinnati Southern Railway to Norfolk Southern will help create a better and brighter future for the city. Passing issue 22 now ensures that future generations of Cincinnatians, not just in the next four or eight years, but over the next 100 years, can rely on this trust fund to make sure that the city continues to have the funds to prioritize basic services that people expect from City Hall. Pierval says the deal itself is not expected to be finalized until March of next year, and funds won't be available for allocation by City Council until fiscal year 2026. One of my mentors, when I'm, when I'm struggling with a, a decision, challenges me to say, make the decision and then work your tail off to make sure it's a good decision. And now it's incumbent upon us as city leaders to make sure that issue 22 passing ultimately is a good thing for Cincinnati. City documents show the proceeds of the roughly $1.6 billion purchase will be placed into an investment trust, which the city estimates could generate between 40 and $50 million per year in interest. It is only those interest returns that the city says will be available to spend. Under state law, that money can only be used on the rehabilitation, modernization, or replacement of existing infrastructure improvements. A spending plan released by the city manager's office back in October shows money from the sale is being earmarked for entities including streets and sidewalks, public services like police and fire departments, and parks. It wasn't all celebrating for Pureval, however, as issue 24, a proposed charter amendment to fund affordable housing, failed by a decisive margin. Regardless, he says affordable housing will remain a city priority. Our affordable housing challenge continues to grow and that we need comprehensive buy-in, not just from City Hall, but from our nonprofit partners, our corporate community, um, to continue to fight uh, to build as much as many affordable housing units as possible. And I'll tell you what, Rob Trisha, in speaking with the mayor today, he had one phrase he said several times. He called this an inflection point for the city, essentially saying that he believes this vote and this result could be a key moment for Cincinnati. Reporting live from City Hall, Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now. Candace, thank you.